hello everyone how are you all doing in this video we are going to talk about the ios 17 beta 7 oh my god we are so close to the public release apple will be coming up with an event when we will have the official release of iphone 15 series and along with iphone 15 apple will also release the ipad os watch os and all the uh, softwares to public which will be coming up in less than a month i'm really hyped for iphone 15 series to arrive more hyped because we will have the official release of ios 17 ipad os 17 watch os 10 and everything this is so cool we are so close to official release let's get right in today's video and talk about the ios 17 beta 7 what all new changes are going to arrive in this update and my experience using the iOS ios 17 beta 6 till now my name is jay you are watching tech hype if you are new here consider hitting that subscribe button because i keep on making these type of cool videos for you guys and you guys seem to love these so make sure to hit that subscribe button and let's start the video talking about the follow-up of ios 17 beta 6 if i do sound a bit weird today that is because i'm having cold and fever so please bear with me for this video that is also one of the reasons that i didn't made all videos i'm talking about watch os 10 ios 17 beta 6 and all so don't worry i will cover all it up in this video so ios 17 beta 6 has been out for about a week and there are a lot of things in the beta 6 that are different there are a lot that means a lot the number one biggest change in the beta 6 was the battery life and it is not a joke the ios 17 beta 6 onwards i am seeing that apple is working hard on battery life the ios 17 beta 6 did improve my battery life a lot and by a lot i mean marginally i am getting about 30 to 35 minutes of extra screen on time 30 to 35 minutes extra screen on time is not a joke after updating to a new version just going from the beta 5 to beta 6 improved a lot of battery screen on time on my device and not just on my iphone 12 but on my iphone 13 and on my iphone 10 r as well which is a really good news for people holding on to their older devices the battery is noticeably better on the beta 6 which is a major green flag here is getting an indication from the beta 6 the beta 7 may also improve upon the battery life of ios 17 but something that it will improve upon for sure is bugs because if history is an indication apple will release about two to three betas more right now beta 9 or beta 10 will probably be the last beta and then we will have the rc and probably an rc2 and then the following week we will have the public release of ios 17 i can't believe we are less than three betas away from ios 17 public release this is getting so hyped up next thing which is a big change which may arrive on the ios 17 beta 7 is new emojis there are possibilities that we may see some new emojis coming to ios 17 beta 7 now this is something which you should take it with a grain of salt because there are possibilities that uh, the ios 17.1 may get new emojis but right now we do have some possibilities that on ios 17 we may get some new emojis in talking about the bugs the bugs that are irritating is obviously one of our favorite bugs which we complain about in every video the wallpaper bug and the keyboard bug these two are the bugs which are just not getting resolved on ios 17 now we also have a new bug which is widget bug this widget bug what happens is your widget become invisible and this has happened to me more than five times by now it means like once every single day since i installed it 
now talking about the performance the performance is something that is noticeably good on the ios 17 beta 6 compared to beta 5 but i still would love to see some performance enhancements on the upcoming version because ios 17 still do not perform as good as the 16 versions obviously it is a beta and betas do not have the best performance but yes let's hope for the best and let's hope that the performance improves after one or two beta more because i still see something bogging down the ios 17 performance in general see i don't really talk about numbers on this channel in order to talk about performance or how a device is performing i just think numbers do not translate to reality but yeah even on geekbench the scores are lower compared to ios 16 on pretty much all devices except the 13 i am really excited for ios 17 beta 7 it is coming up really really soon really soon by that i mean the day i'm uploading this video is sunday and the update is gonna arrive in less than 48 hours updates gonna come on tuesday and i will catch you guys in the very next episode on tuesday making a video for you guys talking about the watch os 10 mac os and every single thing thank you so much for watching this video till the end this is me jay aka tech hyped and i will catch you guys in the very next episode peace out